As armored combat vehicles added more protection and ascended in importance on the battlefield, so did systems designed to stop them gain importance. European missiles for defending against ground forces were almost all focused upon the immediate tank battle. The number of tanks and armored vehicles among NATO members has drastically declined from their Cold War levels in some countries, like Netherlands, have abandoned tanks altogether. Russia, on the other hand, still has a sizable active fleet of tanks and retains thousands more in storage. Further, slow arrival of NATO heavy armor will force infantry to deal with tanks at their own along with attack gunships and attack aircraft. In this video we will go through most lethal ATGMs employed by NATO forces, but before we start let's have brief discussion on how classification of ATGMs generation work. First generation ATGM missiles have manual command guidance. The missiles require input from an operator using a joystick or similar device to steer the missile to the target. To do this, the operator must be well trained and must remain stationary in view of the target during the flight time of the missile. While second generation ATGMs have semi-automatic command line of sight guidance in which missiles require the operator to only keep the sights on the target until impact, missile receive automatic guidance commands through wires or radio. The operator must remain in position during the missile's flight. Third generation guidance systems are fire and forget once the target is identified. The missile needs no further guidance from the operator during flight and the operator is free to retreat. BMMP is a new system being added to NATO arsenal. Called Missile Moyen T Medium Range Missile, is a new generation surface attack missile system designed for the French Army. The development program was initiated by MBDA Systems in 2009. This missile is marketed as a fifth generation anti-tank guided missile. It will replace France's Milan and hot wire guided anti-tank missiles. MMP is equipped with rapid reaction capability to respond quickly. It is capable of destroying new generation main battle tanks. Maximum range of the missile is 4000 meter while minimum range is 150 meters. It is network centric warfare compatible. MMP and its guidance system offer three different operating modes. First fire and forget, second man in the loop with fiber optic data link and last lock on after launch using third party target designation. It has a dual mode seeker with uncooled infrared and visible color channels, and also a fiber optic data link making it possible to maintain man in the loop control. MMP has a multipurpose warhead with the selectable choice of anti armor or anti infrastructure modes. Missile warhead can penetrate 1000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor and 2000 mm of concrete. It can destroy targets as heavy tanks with reactive armor as well as infantry entrenched in an infrastructure. The weapon has a weight of 15 kilograms including the firing tube, it can be used by a team of three soldiers, but the firing post is operated by a single operator. This weapon is also candidates for integration on future armored vehicles. It is slated to be paired with the unique CT-40 turret on France's latest Jaguar EDRC wheeled light reconnaissance armored. Spike is an Israeli fire and forget anti-tank and anti-personnel missile with a tandem charge heat warhead. It was developed and designed by the Israeli company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. It is a fourth generation missile system. This missile has number of variants including Spike SR, Spike MR, Spike LR, LR2ER and NLOS. NATO countries mostly employ MR and LR variants in their arsenal. Spike MR and Spike LR have the same firing post. The firing post consists of the command launch unit, the thermal imaging site and a tripod. Spike MR, the medium range missile system has a range of about 2,500 meters while the range of LR version is 4,000 meters, which can be operated in fire and forget mode. The gunner can update his aim point while the missile is in flight using the fiber optic link, as well as update target information. The data link allows the gunner to switch targets and also receive real-time intelligence and perform battle damage assessment. This missile can also be installed on light combat vehicles, can be used to engage tanks, 
armored vehicles, hardened shelters and low-flying slope targets such as helicopters. The weight of the missile is 14 kilograms, and the weight of the complete system is less than 45 kilograms, and it is used by infantry and light combat vehicles. The guidance system in the nose of the spike missile comprises a charge-coupled device and imaging infrared seeker. The imaging infrared provides higher sensitivity and improved thermal background rejection characteristics for all weather day and night operation. Another anti-tank weapon in service with most European countries is FGM-148 Javelin. It is an American man-portable fire-and-forget anti-tank missile. The Javelin ATGM was developed and is built by a joint venture formed by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. The Javelin system is categorized as a third-generation anti-tank guided missile system and represents a lethal capability in terms of tank killing power. This weapon consists of the command launch unit and the missile. The CLU, with a carry weight of 6.4 kilograms, incorporates a passive target acquisition. The missile has a maximum range of 2,500 meter. It employs fire and forget with lock on before launch and automatic self-guidance. There is a small thermal imaging TV camera in the nose of the missile with a computer. It will follow it autonomously even if the target is moving. The warhead is a tandem-shaped charge for penetrating explosive reactive armor. The first charge detonates the armor and the second penetrates the vehicle. It has penetration of around 750 mm RHA. There are two attack modes, top attack and direct attack. The top attack flight mode is used to engage tanks and other armored vehicles. The missile is designed to attack the top side of a tank where the armor is thin. After launch, the missile climbs to a 330 to 660 feet altitude and dives at a 45 degree angle. In direct attack mode the missile flies directly to the target. This mode is used to engage buildings, bunkers, weapon crews and concentrations of enemy troops. In the direct attack mode the javelin can also engage low-flying helicopters. Despite being old TOW is still in service in large quantity in NATO and its allies, and is a very capable system. The TOW missile system is still deployed in large numbers today, and has been evolved into more lethal forms with each passing decade. It is produced by Raytheon Systems Company. The variants of TOW missile include BGM-71C Improved TOW, BGM-71E TOW-2A which defeat reactive armor with tandem warheads, BGM-71F TOW-2B. BGM-71H which is a bunker buster. The TOW missile system consists of the launch tube, fire control optics, support assembly and missile. This missile in its current variations is not a fire and forget weapon, and like most second generation wire guided missiles has semi-automatic command line of sight guidance. This means that the guided system is directly linked to the platform, and requires that the target be kept in the shooter's line of sight until the missile impacts. TOW missile can engage target up to 4,500 meters, and it can penetrate armor of around 700 to 800 millimeters. Like TOW HOT is also a second generation weapon system, developed by Euro Missile for the French and German armies. HA is a tube launched, wire guided missile with semi-automatic command to line of sight guidance. The missile system is also commonly mounted on light and medium armored vehicles, and attack helicopters. The HOT-3 uses tandem charge warhead to defeat tanks fitted with explosive reactive armor. It can penetrate 1,250 mm of RHA behind explosive reactive armor. The HOT has a maximum range of 4,000 meters. Minimum range is 75 meters. It travels toward its targets at a speed of 240 meter per second. HOT-3 is nearly invulnerable to infrared jamming. Other than from ground, Russian tanks also face threat from the air in the form of Hellfire missile. It has number of variants successively, AGM-114 Hellfire-2 is mostly deployed. 
It is an air-to-ground missile developed primarily for anti-armor role. The missile system with semi-active laser guidance provides heavy anti-tank capability. It is the principal air-to-ground weapon for Apache gunship. There are three warhead variants, a dual warhead shape charge high explosive anti-tank. The Hellfire 2 missile is currently produced in five variants. AGM-114K which is high explosive anti-tank missile. AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire with Fire and Forget capability. AGM-114M with Blast Fragmentation. AGM-114N having Metal Augmented Charge. AGM-114R which is Multi-Purpose Missile. Each Hellfire weighs 45 to 49 kg including an 8 to 9 kg multi-purpose warhead. Its range depend on the trajectory. It can engage target at 8 km with high trajectory and at 7 km with direct trajectory. There are other missiles as well, like PARS 3LR, used by German Army and Brimstone which is used by Royal Air Force. PARS-3 is a fire-and-forget missile, which can be used against air or ground targets. It is intended for long-range applications and designed to defeat tanks, helicopters and other individual targets. The missile has a maximum range of 7 km. Similarly, Brimstone is an air-launch ground attack missile developed by MBDA. Brimstone is a fire-and-forget missile with range of the weapon is around 40 km. There are a wide variety of countermeasures used by Russian tanks such as smoke, soft kill and hard kill active protection system. Further, Russian ground forces also have mobile air defense units for air cover like Tunguska, Tor, Pantsir. On the other hand, there are a variety of counter countermeasures which the ATGMs, launchers, and operators can use to increase the chance for success. Tactics, techniques, and procedures in the anti-tank arena are critical to mission success.